the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 293, Mark 9 to 10. Jesus Transfigured. Jesus, who went up on the Mount of Transfiguration, told them about his death and resurrection in advance, but the disciples were unable to understand him. First point Peter, John, and James experienced God's glory twice during Jesus' public life. Jesus took around all his disciples, and at times he only took a few with him. The three that he often separately took were Peter, John, and James. During Jesus' public life, these three experienced God's glory twice. The first was on Mount Tabor, and the second was meeting the resurrected Jesus. Peter confessed the glory he witnessed on Mount Tabor. The glory that they saw on the mountain was Jesus transfigured and having a conversation with Moses and Elijah. The three disciples were most shocked to witness this, and Peter offered to build a shelter for them. During this time, they heard a voice from heaven. They, at this point, had no idea about Jesus being raised from the dead. Jesus told them that Elijah was first to come, and this symbolized John the Baptist. Second point, Jesus gave his disciples the power to drive out demons, and also to heal the sick. During the time, the three disciples were witnessing God's glory on Mount Tabor, the last of the disciples were busy warding off demons, and also were dealing with conflict with the teachers of the law trying to heal a boy who was demon-possessed. The boy was possessed by a demon, but the disciples could not heal him, and this sparked a debate with the teachers of the law. At this, Jesus rebuked them for their lack of faith. Jesus had already given them the powers to get rid of demons and also to heal the sick. Jesus rebuked them as they had little faith and told them that those who had faith lacked nothing. Jesus then healed the boy. Because of this, the disciples questioned their limitations. Mark recorded Jesus' teaching that other than prayer, nothing can be achieved, and this was all down to their lack of faith. Prayer reveals one's faith, and through faith, God works his powers. Third point, Jesus taught his disciples of everyone and all nations. One day, John, who was the youngest out of Jesus' disciples, asked Jesus a question. John thought that someone who was not Jesus' disciple should not be able to ward off demons. He believed that this should be the privilege of Jesus' disciples. Jesus taught John and the last of the disciples that anyone who had faith in the name of God was with them. As such, Jesus taught them about everyone and all nations when it came to Jesus' salvation. The disciples, after Jesus ascended to heaven, became Jesus' apostles who implemented everyone and all nations. Fourth point, Jesus told his disciples about the great person in the world and the great person in God's kingdom. During the process of learning from Jesus, the disciples at times questioned who was great in the kingdom of God. To this, Jesus gave them answers. Mark chapter 10 illustrates how the Pharisees questioned Jesus about the divorce, as well as other issues in order to super controversy and trouble. Later on, when children tried to come to Jesus, but the disciples stopped him, Jesus told them that they were to be like children 
in order to enter heaven. The next questions were about eternal life and how to gain it. Following on, Jesus predicted his suffering for the third time. During this, the disciples once again got into the argument of who was greater between them. This showed how they were more concerned about their political glory more so than of what Jesus was saying. Jesus therefore brought up that whoever that drank from his cup would be with him. Jesus then told them the difference between the world's standards and the heaven's standards of what made a person great. Fifth point, although the wealthy young man left Jesus due to his wealth, the blind Bartimaeus learned to Jesus throwing his cloak aside. A wealthy young man questioned Jesus on how he was to gain eternal life. However, when he heard Jesus' answer, he left with a serious face, and he was told to give away his wealth to the poor. As he was very wealthy, he could not do so. This wealthy young man and a man named Bartimaeus were living completely different lives. Bartimaeus was a blind beggar who confessed that Jesus was the Messiah and cried out to be saved. He asked the son of David to have mercy on him and learn to Jesus. This scene was not recorded in detail in Matthew or Luke, but only in Mark. When Jesus called to him, he learned to Jesus. Although he could not see, he heard Jesus' voice and learned towards him. Although all that he owned was his cloak, he threw it aside and learned to Jesus. When Jesus saw this, he held him. He ultimately became a follower of Jesus Christ. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.